So with Fortnite Chapter 4 moving into Unreal Engine 5, bring some new graphics and settings into the game. Today I'm going to be telling you what I found from my testing of these new settings and what I would recommend you use in the fastest way I could. However, first, I have a disclaimer. Every PC runs Fortnite differently, so what I would recommend might not be right for you. This video is a guideline to what you should start with with these new settings and you should tweak them to your PC. Now before I start, this is for everyone. If you happen to have high res textures on in your Epic Games launcher, turn that off. In this new chapter, I found myself taking over 2 minutes to load into a game, often leaving me halfway skydiving even when I eventually load in. Now for those who are looking for the best FPS and play competitively, I recommend just using performance mode like how you've been using it. But for those who want a better looking game, let's get started. For anti-aliasing, I would recommend playing between TSR low, medium, or even high. Personally, I don't see a visual difference between these settings, but I did see some occasional FPS improvements. Low will provide the most FPS in most cases. However, this is situational as when I tested this for the second time, high gave me the most FPS. So I would just say test out the different TSR modes and see what you think. For the temporal super resolution, I would recommend using it to recommended. You can set it to performance if you need more FPS, or set it to balance or even quality if you want got FPS to spare, but don't go over quality. For Night Night, my testing found out that you get near to no FPS loss at all, but the game does look better if you know where to look, so I recommend turning it on. And with Night Night on, your shadows will turn into virtual shadows. Virtual Shadows, for me, tanks my FPS by around 40 FPS. So unless you really want Shadows, I'll say turn them, off, turn them off. If you do want Shadows and are not using Lumen, turn Nanite off and use those Shadows. If you want to use Lumen, only set to Medium. Setting to Medium is already a massive performance hit and any more would just be a waste. For global illuminations and reflections, we first have to talk about Lumen. In a nutshell, Lumen replaces the ray tracing we have before and is a software ray tracing that is much more optimized version of Nvidia's ray tracing. If you love and want to use the look, new look of Lumen, I would recommend Global Illumination Lumen High. For my, from my testing, the difference between Lumen High and Epic is a little shimmer which you will never notice in-game. For reflections, set it to screen space. I haven't found a proper place to test Lumen for reflections as it doesn't seem to affect water. So my guess is on small reflective objects. This would mean that it would impact FPS in more city-like areas and just unnecessary performance hits. So just set it to screen space. For textures, I would recommend playing around with it. Since you already got nanites, you already got really good looking textures and you do need to balance the textures with Lumen for a playable experience. For me, I use medium or high. And finally, Hardware ray tracing. I 100% recommend trying this setting out if you're using Lumen. Again, Lumen is the software ray tracing, which means the game engine is processing, processing the ray tracing and isn't using any of your IT cores if you have some. Turning on hardware ray tracing would put that ray tracing work onto your hardware RT cores and would provide better performance if you have them, which it did and gave me around 30 FPS. And now for a little a bonus setting. In your HUD settings, you will find damage numbers. In chapter 4, by default, your damage numbers will add up instead of number for each bullet hit. Personally, I find that distracting as I hit someone for 210 damage for with an SMG. To change it back to how it originally was, simply change damage numbers from cumulative to list. And that's all the settings. Again, this is only a guide, so go on and test these settings and adjust it to need be. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.